Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to start building the ultimate research submarine capable of uncovering the ocean's greatest mysteries. Let's get started. So the first thing you need to do on a submarine is actually build the hull. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments what we should actually add to this thing. Today we're just going to be building the hull on this so it's going to be a pretty simple video. It's not going to be anything too complicated but you can always copy me when i'm building this type of stuff but here we go i'm gonna add some stuff like that we're gonna have it actually um i don't know if that looks good this is like the way front so definitely gonna be the way front of the submarine so we're gonna do it like this um i don't want to fill this up actually yet because we don't know if it's actually gonna work so now what we need to do is grab a one by two wedge just like this and how far should this go out i honestly have no idea you know let's start with the top here i'm kind of better at looking at it like this so let's angle it correctly there we go all right so i'm i think i'm gonna do like four i think I think four so one two three four that'll definitely work um okay then once we're done with the four like that i think we're gonna grab like a wedge like this so let's go ahead and add that to the side this is gonna be such a great submarine i'm going to probably add a mini submarine inside of this that can explore um smaller areas i think it's gonna be remote controlled so we don't actually have to be in it so it's more safer and probably easier so let's go ahead and grab it that like that there we go all right so this is like the front of it it's actually coming together quite nice already i don't know if this looks like a research submarine or a military submarine i'm not really trying to go for a military one i can tell you that but let's go ahead and do this so i'm gonna go ahead and copy this entire thing if you guys don't know don't know how to do this i just clicked my selection grid up there we copy this entire thing make sure you have everything selected on it and you cut it here i'm just gonna paste it again uh, merge it into the main block and i'm gonna click l twice and completely rotate it upside down and then just like that i can have this entire thing be upside down and we don't have to actually manually build all that so pretty cool stuff this game has so this is the front hall of this submarine so it's actually coming together now what we need to do is probably move it up a little bit because we don't want it to um we want it to be a little long we don't want it to be too long but we want it to be decently long so we're gonna move it up and grab some normal blocks here you can just control and click um let's turn off our rotation arrows here and i just realized something i think we actually need to make these three things i think we need to add a fourth one right here so we're gonna have to go ahead and switch all this stuff out and i'll see you guys when i'm done with that and there we go just like that we have added a fourth one to all of these corners so now it's looking a little bit better it's actually pretty nice i think we're gonna have two stories on this thing so that's how you know it's gonna be fire two stories on a research summary and i don't even know what we're gonna pack in this thing but it's gonna be crazy um i think it's gonna be like a little bit longer than that probably just a little tad bit uh, we do have to fit a nuclear reactor in this thing so i think like this would probably work i don't know guys i really don't know how long this should be i don't know how long submarines normally are to be honest i'm not really a submarine type of dude but yeah we're just kind of doing what my brain says here uh, i don't exactly know now that we kind of got the skeleton done of it like the big frame and all that stuff i think we could start probably filling it in on the sides here so why don't we go ahead and start doing that fill this area in just like this fill it up with a one by two um, what is this called pyramid okay one by two pyramid that is what that's called i did not know that fill it up like that it's pretty satisfying building in this game it is pretty fun sometimes but sometimes it get, does get quite annoying i can confirm that right, we got this part filled up just like that so right here is a kind of an interesting spot so we have to grab i think a two by four pyramid would fit perfectly right here so let's see if it does oh my gosh perfect that's actually so satisfying when that happens so you know what i think we did actually mess up on this a little bit so we're gonna delete all of this i'm just gonna see if we did actually mess up here so i think we weren't supposed to go that far out but if we grab a one by four pyramid just like this and actually just run it down that should line up perfectly there we go okay we definitely did that part wrong so let's go ahead and delete all of this we're gonna put this pyramid here so it can like it'll start evening itself out ever so slightly every time i do that it'll start looking a little better and we'll fill that up just like that so i think like that would be perfect and that'll definitely be enough room up here for like a periscope and an airlock and all that fun stuff would definitely be all up here and we'll have like that little area up here that actually um angles upward so it'd be something like that but maybe at the back or the front i have no idea all right we got all the sides and the walls filled in um a lot of the siding here's done but i think we need to do something up here on the top it is looking a little bit too flat and you don't really want that on submarines because it just really doesn't help that much you know we're just gonna do this right now we're gonna copy this entire thing from like the exact middle right here and we're gonna put it on the bottom side so that should definitely um make it easier so we don't have to like manually build all that so you can do this on your builds whenever you're building so let's just cut it here you probably don't even need to do that part click l two times and it'll flip it over so now it actually kind of looks like a boat that's actually not a bad boat haul right there it's not bad at all okay, here we go we're going to put it down like this and um will it fit oh gosh it's a little bit uneven um we gotta make it even like that and probably move it up one block i think and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and paste it just like that and that honestly doesn't look bad at all 
It is looking quite interesting. Um, we definitely need to make it smaller. It's definitely like kind of too wide. It looks like we're holding like nuclear missiles or something. So what we're going to do now is actually um, merge it because wait, what? Hold on. It's not like the main body. There we go. Now it's the main body and we're going to cut it from the center down straight in the middle. And we're actually going to probably squeeze this thing in a little more because it is definitely way too many blocks out. All right. So now that we got it in the middle, we're going to cut it just like that and put it in just like one block like that. And then we have to do the same exact thing to the other side here. So let's grab it like this, grab it, whatever block will work, whatever side. There we go. All right. Like that. Put it in one more block. And I think this should look good because we don't need a whole lot of stuff in the submarine. So we don't need it to be absolutely massive this is kind of an interesting looking hull but it will do so this is what the submarine would look like when it spawned in just the hull nothing on it so it's just completely hollow so i can definitely tell we need to make this longer probably like another an entire section longer because this is definitely too short for how big this is but um yeah we could definitely have two stories in this thing i could pack this a whole bunch of stuff in this thing so that's definitely going to be fun all right so let's go ahead and fill in the ceiling here um just control click that block right there and can completely fill it in we don't want any uh water spaces uh, we need a ballast system in this thing so but as we said this thing definitely needs to be a little bit longer so we're gonna go ahead and copy it all right we copied a section like this we're just gonna put it back how that was and let's see how long this should be so i think like another section like this and then hmm i don't know you can't really tell um i think that would definitely be long enough it already looks quite long let's go ahead and save it here spawn it and see if it actually looks properly long i think that's definitely long enough you know what just to make it a little more fun we'll add another like six blocks right there so there we go that is probably how long it's going to be then we need to add like a tail back here oh gosh i don't even know how to do that that it might actually end up being too long with this tail so we might have to cut it a little short if that does happen so what we're going to do for the back here i think is grab a one by two wedge and we're just going to have it actually angled down just like this so it'll be completely flat angling down like that um that's probably a little bit too far but now we're going to grab a one by two pyramid just like that and slowly angle it down like that and we're just going to continue doing this and hopefully it lines up like perfectly um i don't think it's going to but we're going to see here in a couple of seconds. So will it line up perfectly? Oh my gosh. Okay, definitely did. But um, I can't tell if that really looks good or not. So what we need to do here actually is probably have it um, flatten out because we don't want it to be like at this constant angle like that. That's a little weird. So we're going to flatten it out just like that. And that might be a little bit too flat. Yeah, it is because it's going over the center line. Go ahead and copy this entire back part that we just did. Um, copy that, paste it L two times. You guys know the drill. Um, it did move it over for some reason. So now what we're going to do is shift it over here. And OK, um, uh, I don't know if that um, is going to work with the same side here. We have to move it up one more time. And will that fit? Um, we're going to paste it here. I don't think it's looking it's not looking too good. I think it's a little bit too overlapped. So what we need to do is have like one um, single line in between here that'll cut in between. And I can tell it's not merged because when you hover over this, it's like gray on the other side. So we have to go ahead, merge that cover this block here and um okay okay it's looking kind of good it's too flat here at the end it's definitely too flat so i think if we cut it off like right here that it probably would work so cut it off right there and then we have to flatten it out so we don't have any leaks and uh yeah we definitely would have a leak All right we got it flattened out just like that fill that in and filled in like that once again and um i think that'd be perfect for a rudder and a propeller right there so that would definitely work this thing is coming together this hull is coming together quite nice so it's all going to plan good job good job please let me know if i should do anything different with this hull in the comments um it is looking quite interesting but of course it will change in the future now that we got that done so i've noticed on submarines they have like these propeller things that stick out um let's go ahead. i'll just show you guys here real quick so they stick out kind of like this it's not going to look exactly like that of course that looks terrible but it looks like that and it's like a rudder so they can pull up and down but what we need to do is go ahead and add that real quick so i think we're going to do something like this so it'll go like two right there two right there two right there and it'll just keep going down kind of like that and then maybe like a constant one right there so we're gonna go ahead and do this so they're at an angle and it'll definitely look better so there we go that's at an angle and let's go ahead and zoom out here will that look good um that looks absolutely terrible okay so now what i did is um i deleted this uh block right here so i just did that and placed that there i don't know if that's gonna look it look good but there's some on the roof here actually and um on the actual bottom of it so we have to go ahead and do that this is just what it looks like for now guys this is not going to be permanent and even if i end the video with it looking like this crappy it's 
definitely going to change because I don't like when stuff looks terrible, you know? Go, and then we do have an extra block there here. We'll just fill it up like that. Perfect. And then normally they're like a little bit taller than the actual thing itself. So it has some water flow on it and have it slowly angle out like the last one. So one, two, one, two. Same stuff there. All right. Um. Oh, gosh, that's I don't know how to something like that. So let's go ahead and control click on those wedges here. See if this looks good at all. Um. Honestly, no promises, guys. No promises at all. Um, I don't know. I feel like it definitely needs to be longer here. So why don't we do that? Since it just looks like it needs to be longer, we're going to make it look longer. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to add actual like fins on them. Uh, it's actually a control surface. So we need a control surface. Where's the control surface? Uh, let's grab a large one. What a large. Oh, that's way too big. Okay, definitely not a large. What in the world would I use that for? Okay, medium is definitely our size here. Um, let's go ahead and delete these two outer ones just like that and fill it in like that and grab a medium one. And we want it to be right. So which way is right? Right is the plus arrow. And there we go. That could be like that. Um, That's a little bit interesting looking, but that's just going to have to do for now. Um, Let's also do some on this side. So we're going to have to probably do a little bit of an indent there. Is that enough room or did I leave another block? There we go. Okay, now we need to add the bottom one. So we're just going to go ahead and copy this entire thing until it stops right there. Click L twice. We know the drill already. It's pretty simple. But then if we do this, um, that should that honestly looks good. But I don't know if that's supposed to be going below it. Uh, I don't know. I don't care. There we go. All right. That's kind of coming together right there. It's looking quite good. It's not looking too bad, but we actually need a rudder. Right, so let's open our menu here and type in uh, propeller and it should pop up some stuff. So this is the biggest giant one that we can get. Honestly, I feel like we would need the giant one. I definitely feel like that. This is the second largest. Yeah, this this little thing is not going to be powering this entire thing. That's just not going to happen in my book. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to grab a yellow pipe. So just a little pipe like this, probably right there would actually work. Hold on, let's go ahead type in propeller again and see if a giant one would fit right there oh my gosh okay definitely does that would work all right so we put all this like extra armor stuff around it it's not going to do like any armor type of stuff but you got that going on there and then let's go ahead and grab some angling stuff here so this will just make it look a little more thicker and look like an actual crankshaft so there we go we got our propeller going on here it's looking quite nice it's not looking too bad i've definitely seen worse submarines that i've built go ahead and spawn this in and actually see if it floats and actually looking here for holes for i don't see anything but let's go ahead and spawn it in you never know this game's a little buggy sometimes and will sink the thing but it is indeed floating okay is there water in here no it isn't okay it's looking quite nice already it's floating perfectly this is going to plan guys everything's going to plan but what we're going to do now is actually fill this entire bottom hall um just like three blocks across with weight blocks and as you guys know weight blocks will put weight down in the bottom of your boat and you want the center of mass normally to be as low as you that does apply to submarines so because they do need to float normally so we got some weight blocks there will it float a little better it's not oh my gosh this thing floats like perfectly it honestly looks like we have a glitch stabilizer on it but let's go ahead and build our floor system so right here is the center of the boat so let's go ahead and delete all this stuff so we can actually build like the floor here so this will be the floor just like this so that will be the center divider here let's at least see if we can walk in this i don't know if it's tall enough i hope it is if it was if it isn't that would suck but okay definitely is. we need to actually add like areas for ballast if you guys know what a ballast is um fills up with water and sinks the boat basically but yeah right here we're gonna add an entire ballast area i don't know if that's too big or not but it'll do for now it's not gonna like kill us if we need to make it smaller at some point so we'll do that here we go this thing's starting to come together um i don't know if it's too small in here but we'll definitely fill it up with stuff i i already know what to pack this thing with probably hvac a sonar room a radar room whole bunch of stuff we need to add in this thing so of course we need to add a ballast system up here but we also need like a sonar area so We'll just put a ballast at the way front and this will sink our boat aim angling downwards. So this is the front top ballast and then we'll have a front lower ballast. I don't know if we should do that. Let me know in the comments right now, yes or no, if that will make a difference at all. But it might, you never know. I never know, but we're gonna go ahead Fill that in and now we got a bottom and top ballast but there we go we got this thing's hauled done it's looking quite nice all we're gonna do is make that top part on the submarines you guys always see i think we could start it like somewhere like right here maybe uh maybe that's too far forward no i think we need to have it a little bit more forward so like right here would probably work just like something like that yeah that definitely works but start adding some design to this thing angle it like that build up and make this thing look nice we do need some walking room on the sides here so honestly 
I think just like that would be enough room. Go, there we go. Um, It might be too high. So what we're going to do is cut off two blocks here. Uh, maybe just one. I think one would definitely do the trick. So there we go. Now we're going to grab a one by four wedge and we need to actually angle this thing. So we don't want it to be too long. Grab the one by four wedge and start making this thing go in words just like that and there we go it's looking very nice it actually looks quite realistic so very nice looking submarine here we're gonna cut it down one more block i can just tell it's looking a little bit too high there that's gonna be it for this video we did get the haul done let me know in the comments right now what we should add to this submarine but yeah make sure you guys join the discord make sure you like and subscribe hit that bell shout out to you if you like and subscribe and hit that bell but thanks for watching and goodbye